Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And tonight's video is going to be about the parallel dimension tool, the horizontal vertical dimension tool, the angular tool, and the callout. I really can't find a reason this is any different than the other ones. Okay, parallel dimension tool, you can put it anywhere on your box. This is a 3x3 three three box. And it's going to tell you you're at the midpoint or whatever. But as you can see, I'm a little bit off of my angle. So if you were drawing, so now I'm at 3.01. If you're drawing something really big across the page, now it will, when you get perpendicular, it'll tell you you're perpendicular. Then just let go of your mouse and click your mouse and it'll put it on the inside or you could actually put it up, up top. I didn't mean to do that. But then, then the vertical and horizontal, you have to draw a line across it won't let you do anything different you can't go at an angle see I got a little bit off there but so it's only going to let you go to there and take your mouse off the button and uh, you can actually raise it up afterwards same thing with going vertical you know you can't be off so this might be a better way if you're drawing something for a customer to tell them you know what the plaque's going to look like and the font's going to be there now but one thing these tools can't do that this parallel can i can go from node to node in the corner and get that angle now the call out is pretty cool you want to grab the call out put it on the corner that you want drag away at any angle it's not measuring anything and then left click your mouse and and this would be used if you're sending this to a customer for uh, you know wanting them to look at that spot when you're measuring it puts an arrow at both ends when this is just putting an arrow at that end and doing the call out and then you go to your pick tool and that's what it's going to look like and you could say anything like, you know, this corner could be rounded or, you know, this is a bad spot in, in your artwork. You know, when somebody sends you some artwork, do you want me to fix it? Now, the angular tool, and I just did a video the other night on this, and uh, I found a little better way to do it. If you wanted this star around equally and almost touching each other you know you could try you go well let's let's try 20 stars and then you'd have to go back and erase them and or back up and then do you know 14 and then there'd be too many so what you could do is take your two line pointer start right there in the center and go up to your star center or the edge of the star go up here do the same thing and you can see they're right on the money. Then we can take our zoom in here really close. We can take our angular and you put it on the midpoint, go up to that star, go to there, and you're at 14.323. Must, uh, I thought I could, yeah. 14.23 well take a calculator out 360 divided by we'll go 15 just because of the fact that 14.23 is not going to divide so now you know you can go 24 times so let's take that away and just control d to make a duplicate hit it twice move your rotation and as always, it doesn't look like it's in the center. So go off of it, hit it, it'll be in the center. And you knew you could do 24, so let's go 15 degrees. Control D on the first one, 30 degrees. Control D, 24 times around. And it's going to be perfect. They're going to be equal distances away from each other. And that was a lot easier than the way I showed it. A couple of nights ago in another video how to do that but i thought i'd include that with this anyway hope that helped a little bit 
and thank you for watching. Just play around with it. Thank you.